Hello YouTube, it's your boy B3 back another kicking movie reaction review. Today we have a cool Toho monster movie, Frankenstein Conquers the World, also known as Frankenstein vs. Baragon. Uh, so this is Toho Studios' take on Frankenstein. They made it when all their Godzilla uh, movies and kaiju movies were real popular uh, back in the Showa era. And uh, it's actually pretty cool, you know. It's even in continuity with some Godzilla movies. It shares music with some Godzilla movies and lots of the main cast of Invasion of the Astro Monster, a.k.a. Godzilla vs. Monster Zero, are actually stars in this film as well. Uh, this is the movie that introduced Baragon, who later became a Godzilla monster. It starts off with fucking Nazis taking Frankenstein's heart from a laboratory in Germany and then sending it to Japan to be studied, but they send it to Hiroshima, which, of course, gets nuked, uh, as you all know. And then, uh, later there's this, like, boy running around, and he's, he's caught by these doctors. Uh, he's kind of seen as a menace because he's been eating dogs and rabbits, like this feral child. Uh, and then it turns out that feral child, uh, is growing at an extreme rate. This child is radioactive. Uh, and then Baragon destroys, like, a mine. <laughs> or an oil rig or something. Uh, but they find out that this creature is Frankenstein because they were talking to some experts and they were like, oh, Frankenstein's heart can't die. And he has, like, this crazy regenerative healing factor. So, if you cut off one of his arms or legs, if it grows back, then you have Frankenstein. But obviously, that's a cruel experiment to do. Uh, and Frankenstein's growing at an extreme rate. He's much larger than a human because of the radiation now. He had already had a crazy good healing factor, but now he's much larger because of the radiation. He breaks out of his chains, which have grown too tight, but he loses a hand while doing it, and the hand remains alive, and then it grows back almost instantly. So they do know it's Frankenstein at this point. But uh, they're studying his hand, so the scientists, except for the woman who sympathizes with him, are like, all right, kill him. We have the hand. We don't need to study him because the hand remains alive as long as we bathe it in proteins. But then there's sightings of Frankenstein all over the country, uh, and he's trying to eat boars and stuff. He even makes a trap for a boar that ends up catching a tank. Uh, and Baragon keeps attacking places, eating livestock and people, and they're kind of blaming it on Frankenstein. But the doctors kind of know it's not him. Because they're like, Frankenstein doesn't eat people. And they're trying to prove to the world that there's a second monster out there. But nobody believes them uh, until it's really too late. And then uh, they go to catch Frankenstein. And one of the doctors decides he wants to kill Frankenstein instead of catch him. But uh, Baragon shows up to attack and eat them. And then Frankenstein saves all their lives. Especially the doctor who wanted to kill him. Uh, Frankenstein saves their lives and he fights Baragon... Uh, in this real fast-paced fight, actually. Snaps Baragon's neck, and uh, then there's this earthquake, and they all fall into the earth. And everyone's like, oh, is Frankenstein dead? And they're like, his body might be, but his heart can never die. It'll beat forever. Uh, and that's really how this movie ends, with a really cool shot of Frankenstein sinking into the earth while a forest fire rages behind him. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, you know, Nakajima, who played the original Godzilla... The suit actor actually played Baragon in this movie, and he almost died playing Baragon. He was almost buried alive while filming, so pretty crazy stuff. But, um, yeah, I've watched this movie with subtitles. I watched it with subtitles first, and then I watched the dub. The dub is about as good as any Showa uh, Godzilla dub that's out there, so just know that. Um, and this is actually a pretty fun film. It's a real unique take on Frankenstein. Um, and Frankenstein's monster, real unique take on the Frankenstein franchise by making it a kaiju film. Like, that was a pretty good move. Uh, it made it real unique. And then we got an even better movie in the sequel, War of the Gargantuas, which I'll be reviewing at a later date. Uh, I'll probably review another Ultraman movie in a, after this one, but... Yeah, I mean, it was... This is a really good film. It's thoroughly enjoyable. Like, if you like Frankenstein, 
And if you like monster movies in general, especially giant monster movies and Toho monster movies like Godzilla, Rodan, and Mothra, definitely check out Frankenstein Conquers the World, a.k.a. Frankenstein vs. Baragon. It's really cool. You can get a dub if you don't want to read the subs. But uh, that's it. Thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below. Facebook, Twitter, etc. And I'll be seeing y'all later. I'll be seeing y'all later!